Welcome back. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's determined bid for privacy took another wrong turn this week after they stepped out for a high-profile women's gala in the heart of New York City. After the event, the Sussexes claimed they were pursued by paparazzi in a near-catastrophic car chase through Manhattan. The fiercely private couple issued a stinging complaint through their longtime publicist, and it wasn't long before they returned to front pages around the world. In a moment, Meghan's sister Samantha joined Spotlight to share her considered take. But first, here's a look at how the night panned out. Turn on the news, see the destruction, hate and corruption in the streets, feel the corruption. Stay back. Take the barriers if must. Stay back. Meghan and Harry had been attending a high profile women's gala in Midtown Manhattan on Tuesday night, where Meghan was collecting a Women of Vision Award. Meghan, how do you feel about being part of Food Brothers Family? When once again, the Sussex Sideshow stole the spotlight. Yeah! After leaving the awards night, the Duke and Duchess's spokesperson claimed they were caught in a near-catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. Yeah. They say the chase resulted in multiple near collisions and that the incident could have been fatal. That alarming description made headlines around the world. They're going straight. They're turned, they're turned. Evoking memories, of the fateful paparazzi pursuit that killed Harry's mother in Paris 26 years ago. Kind of a kind of wake up call, they hope, to the world on what it's like living as Meghan and Harry. For Meghan's estranged sister, Samantha Markle, it's another case of the couple being caught out embellishing the truth. Well, Samantha, good to talk to you from Florida. Thank you for joining our program. Thank you for having me. When you learned that your sister was involved in a, a near catastrophic car chase, how did you react? Well, my first question was a define near catastrophic chase. And it takes two hours to get two blocks in Manhattan with your car barely moving. So I thought it was a lot of drama, and it seemed to remind me of like this repeated invocation of the Diana tragedy. It seems like it's their golden ticket. Do we have that path on the scooter again? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we do. Really? Same guy? Same guy. I say that because even in the Netflix thing, they were sitting in the front of a car and my sister was like looking around and said, you see that tap on the bike? And Harry said, where is he? And then there was a camera shot through the car and there was like one guy on a bike. He didn't have a camera. There was nobody else around, but they were supposed to be at a heightened state of paranoia as the paparazzi were following them. Nobody was following them. Yeah, I'll be worst case scenario, so safety yeah. first. Worst case scenario, we're going from one garage to another. I would find it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase. And I think if anything was scary to the public, it might have been that Doria's makeup was melting. There was nothing scary about what the, what they were doing. PR stunt. Back in my mom's days, it was physical harassment. You know, cameras in your face, following you, chasing you. I can't imagine how Prince William would feel at this repeated invocation of his mother. And still, Diana and her memory seems to be a cash cow for these two. I think they have to let her rest. Samantha, when we spoke with your family last on our program, only a few weeks ago, your father issued a, a very heartfelt um, appeal. Let's go somewhere and talk. How can I fix this? I'm open to any kind of conversation. Have you received any communication from Megan at all? Has she reached out? No, and here's the thing. You know, I think my father, like King Charles, fathers are always extending the olive branch, even though it's the onus is not on them to do so. In other words, neither King Charles nor my father did anything wrong. And in my personal opinion, you can only make concessions so many times 
And it gets to the point where you're not just extending the olive branch and being loving, you are being enabling. You know, I saw a headline, so it tickled my uh, sense of humor. It called them this morning, the, the Duke and Duchess of Hazard. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Well, you know, it wasn't a car crash, but I think we can fairly say that the whole thing's been a train wreck. Right, and staged by someone. Samantha Markle, it's good of you to join the program again, and nice talking to you. Thank you so much.